Welcome back to Naomi's Corner. Now we are going to cook a merienda, like a snack for you guys. We're going to show you that with Salad Master, you don't have to boil your noodles. So what we're going to make tonight is like a fettuccine or Alfredo sauce. So what you need is a um, one pack of your egg noodles, frozen vegetables, or any stir fried vegetables. I have here my two bottles of uh, Alfredo sauce. And what I have in here is a cup of uh, milk. You can use almond milk or regular 2% reduced fat milk or maybe a uh, broth. You can also use a chicken broth. And we're gonna pour some Parmesan cheese afterwards and then um, peppers. So what you need is your electric skillet. You don't have to preheat this. So right now it's a cold pan. This is my favorite. You can cook 400 recipes right here in one piece of this beautiful electric skillet. So you don't have to preheat that. So what I'm gonna do is open my uh, package and I'm using my uh, salad master here for all the noodles, just like so. And all you need to do is pour your sauce, both of the sauce, and then we're we'll just gonna use this milk to shake the leftover inside a bottle so we could be able to use everything. Oops, sorry. Okay, and then all we need to do is really shake it a little bit. Four. Shake the other bottle too. You want to use everything in there. All right, and then all you need to do is open the frozen package of any kind of vegetables you want. You can use carrots, fettuccine, I mean, um, spinach, and it's still frozen. And then all you need to do is cover it. And then we're gonna set the temperature to 275 degrees. When you hear the vapor valve starts clicking, that's the time for us to reduce the heat to 225 and then leave it there for like about 12 minutes. And then your Alfredo sauce noodle is all set. Now our vapor valve is already clicking, so all you need to do is open your lid. Okay, and then we're gonna garnish a little bit of your Parmesan and then a little bit of uh, pepper. Whoops. Okay, and all you need to do now is cover this again and reduce your heat to 225 degrees and then set it there for like um, 10 minutes. And then after that, it's gonna shut off automatically and your bread, your merienda is all set. Okay, now our timer is up. It shuts off automatically. That's why I do really love this electric skillet. Now it's time for us to open the lid. As you can see, we did not stir during the cooking time. So there is not really much, a lot of pot watching, constant stirring. Now you're done, then you begin to stir. Look at that. Now your merienda is ready!